A couple of years ago, I posted a video where I talk about what to do if you shot at 50 or 60 FPS instead of the 24. The advice I gave in that video was absolutely terrible. Do not follow that advice. I gave people terrible advice because I was misinformed and I apologize for that. So let me show you the right way to fix it. The first thing you want to do is import all your footage into the project. I am only using three clips here because this is just for demonstration purposes. So there won't be any problems. All three of these clips are uh, 50 FPS. If you can just go here, you can see, yeah, 50 FPS. So what I'll do is I'll take any one of these. I'll take this one and I'll right click and I'll create a new sequence from clip. What this will do is that this will make a timeline sequence that is compatible with the settings of this clip, since this is the uh, clip I use as a base for my timeline. Hence the timeline and the clip share a name. So for our sanity purposes, we'll find the timeline, which is this one. This is our timeline in the bin and we will Double click on the name and we'll just change it to main, M-A-I-N. This is for our sanity purposes. Now the next step is to make sure that our timeline is selected. So just click here and make sure that there's a blue border around our timeline. That means it is selected. Then go to sequence, sequence settings. And here in time base, set it to 23.976. Click OK. This will change the settings of your timeline and it will turn it from a 50 FPS timeline into a 23.976 FPS timeline. Now, why was the timeline 50 FPS from the start? Now all you have to do is just edit. Now all I have to do is export this. Go to File, uh, Export, Media. Alternatively, you can just press Control M. Then we will go down here and ensure that frame rate is 23.976. You can see that this particular box is grayed out. That is because this check mark is here. What this check mark does is that this ensures that the frame rate at which our video will be exported is the same as the timeline's frame rate. So if we uncheck it, there we go, we can change the frame rate. Then you just click on export and there will be absolutely no difference in the final product quality. So that wraps up the video. Just wanted to say, give us a quick follow on the Camera7 Instagram account. I will also be posting some editing reels on this. So our Instagram account will have lots of very handy little editing tricks that are so cool, but also so short that doesn't warrant a full YouTube video. Do check it out. I'll see you guys soon.